It is my favorite thing about Football Manager. It is transfer special in the season review. Let's get into it. Before we get into today, before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button, leave a comment down below. Okay, my dudes, it is our first, our very first transfer special with KV Mequin. We absolutely bottled the season. Didn't win any cups. Didn't win any. Didn't win anything. We got knocked out of the cup in the first like matchup we played against a team in the third division. We sit second the entire season. Uh, Gink bottles it. We get to the championship group stage, us in the lead. We bottle it and end up finishing second. That's where we're at. Uh, we did qualify for the preliminary stages of the Champions League, which is good news because we need some money, 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 money. The new arrivals, we didn't do all of these guys. We've done some of them. Um, this, like I said, I think we might have done two, three. We did three because we done Max Norman Williams, Andy Koshy, and Andy Kawhi. So we're going to go over them. Max Norman Williamson was the signing of the season, putting out a 7.9, turned into a starter for us really quickly. Did spend the cash on him for $2.1 million, averaged out a 7.09. Ford is content with us, giving us a C on that one. And I'm not going to go over the, the other guys, really, because I didn't do them. I didn't sign them. Uh, Andy Koshy, uh, C overall on this one, 725. We signed him. He's a Belgian player. At the age of 20, midfield player, 6.93 on him. He he was a regular player for the first team. Came off the bench quite a bit, but uh, did do a lot. He did a lot for us. He he added added some depth to the midfield, which we're going to need this upcoming season because we're losing Franks and uh, what the player we never used. Uh, I can't think of his name. He's on here somewhere, I, I think. Isn't he? Not on here. I thought it was his first year. What was his name? DeFore. We're not... It, it, he, uh, he got hurt, didn't play any of the season, so Koshi had to play a lot. Kawhi signed him back, brought him back to the club. He's been here before. Spent a little bit more money than what we probably needed to on him for 650 k he, he was a regular starter for us. He didn't do a ton on the pitch, but he did put out a 6.92 rating. I'm I'm happy with him as a left. He's, he's not going to wow you. He's not going to be you know putting out 8.0s. He might occasionally give you a 7, but he's going to hover around that 6.7, 6.0 area somewhere around there and, and you can see that really in his his uh his average rating he's not going really he's not going to be that guy that drips really like 6.1 he might he might give you the occasional 6.4 6.3 but uh yeah i was definitely happy with these three signings max norman williamson you guys know that i'm, I'm thrilled about that signing i think he's going to be a stud for the club i think he's going to be probably the way we get out of financial trouble at some point and uh I, i'm excited about it. they they're thrilled with the way we played in the league a plus on that one we get second in the league So we're actually champions. I've got to stop the record. Let me let me be right back, guys. Got a phone call. I do apologize for the cut there. My grandpa's birthday today. I called him earlier. My mom was calling me back. He has to give me updates on stuff like that for some reason. I don't I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're where 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 did we last go over season? To remember? So they, hey, they was tickled with the way we finished in the. I think we was. I don't know if, how this works. We, I guess because we won the what won the league, like before the split, we got champions. I'm, we didn't hold a we didn't hold a trophy up. We didn't get a trophy for it, so I'm not counting it. Uh, the friendly cup. Okay, uh, the the I, I call it the Belgium Cup. It was extremely disappointing. We're not going to discuss that any more than that. It was it was a bit of a, a kick right in the nads to lose that. It is now time for moments to remember. I hope you remembered them because that's the end of it. We don't really go over that here on the channel. Uh, obviously, everything goes up here because nothing note, but we did make 7.1 on sponsorship. Broadcast revenue, 1.5. Hospitality and corporate, 541K. No competition prize money. Match day commercial and revenue retail, 988,000. Uh, top selling kits was Frank's, Ingval, okay. Vandelberg, I don't even know who this is. Oh, okay. Harriman's, I, the. He got cut off there. Yeah, I thought his name. I was like, "Who is Araman?" Okay, and then Kawhi as well. I'm telling y'all, the Max Norman Williamson kit better be selling pretty soon because that dude's the future of this club. This is the way it says we lined up for most of the season, and uh, yeah, it's the way we lined up most of the season. It it was it was definitely a good one.
Definitely a good season for us. Fans player of the season was obviously Harriman's. He had a great season. Vandelberg was the young player of the season. Max Norman's Norman Williamson was the signing of the season. Goal of the season went to Harriman's. Uh, 30 top goal scorer with 15. Harriman's had the most and had the most matches. Player of the matches was six. Highest overall rating of 7.2. Koshi had the most passes completed per 90 minutes, and we broke all the records. All the records was broke. Uh, Rob Schuss with 10 assists in a season. Cook had 18 shutouts. Harriman's six man of the matches. Sandy Walsh, he had the worst discipline in club history. So, attaboy Sandy. Highest transfer fee ever paid was 2.1 to Max Norman Williamson. And Chevette had the fastest goal. There we go. Season review is done. Thank you guys for watching. No, I'm just kidding. We got to do a transfer special. And it is going to be a busy, busy, busy one because we got some work to do. Come on. Why we got to add so many damn things to these things every time? Like every, every, uh, did I just click accept? I meant to negotiate. Why do we have to have 35 club culture things every season? You know, you started out, you have like two. You have, hey, develop, we want to develop using the club's youth system. You know, don't sign. I mean, like, what, what do you want me to sign? Sign players under the age of 20 for the future. It's favored. It's not like, unless it's like preferred. Get rid of some of this crap. Like, I mean, favored, favored, and favored. So, like, really, in reality, it's, it's they want us to play entertaining football, make most set pieces, and have high tempo pressing football. But because it's on this stupid thing, we're going to get screwed at some point about signing players under the 20, which, like, I don't think I will this season because I, I plan on signing players under 20. And it, it's just like, it's so much. Like, do you want to manage the team? Like, do you want to tell me how to manage? Do you want to be the manager telling me to play possession football? Do you want do you want to do that and do my job? Like that's my job deciding how we play. Like you can give me a little bit of like how what how like transfers and stuff like that. But I'm the manager, not you. Like I need to this is what we have with the team. This is what we have. We 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 might not be able to play high, high tempo. We may not be able to be a team that can play pressing. I don't I don't like this. Like fix this crap. A little bit of a rant there. I apologize. It's just it, it's in the saving set and in Daegu. It's just like too much crap gets added. We're going to the Netherlands for our, our training camp. And that's I mean okay, we don't have anything else. I thought we might have uh there's usually something else we talk about at this point, but I don't remember what it is. I guess we'll take a look at the side. I don't I don't know what to do. We've we've got some stuff that's happening looking at contracts. Let's start with contracts that are expiring that we plan on Oop, didn't mean to do that. That we plan on bringing back this season, and, and and there's not many of them, I don't think. So it's going to end with Ferdy. I'm not bringing Ferdy back. He's on loan. He's 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 a good player. Like I would really like to play him. If it was one of those situations of like we didn't have the rules that we self imposed, I would bring him back. But because of the rules we have, I'm not bringing him back. I'm probably not going to bring back this goalkeep. We have some other guys that I'm interested in. Tony, probably not going to bring him back as well. I mean, he's already signed a contract with somewhere else. I'm not bringing these three loanies back in. It's definitely not Chevette. I did not. I was not impressed with him. The four, I, I don't want, I'm not reassigning him. If we get any money from it, I'll be okay. But that's that's the the contracts that are expiring. That's what we're going to do. Looking at players that I wouldn't mind selling, there's, there's quite a few of them. Really. I mean, there's a lot of dead weight on this team that we're paying a lot of money to that we could, I think, bring in young players and have the same – type of role that they have now i'll probably won't sell gustav just gustav but i i think i would like to but just because of our, our we're thin at striker already i think selling him would be a mistake this offseason until we get that situation solved here here i wouldn't mind selling him and actually bringing in a good right back i wouldn't mind selling him who else I don't really want to sell any of the such starters. I know Schuff's had interest in him at one point. He doesn't anymore. Here, I'm, I could take him really. Uh, Sheldon Batu, I would really like to sell him. Rebuild the, bring in another center back, another right back. We, we've we've got a lot of work to do. There, there's definitely some work we need to do this off season. I kind of want to get that one. That one. That one. So this is what I think we'll be looking at going into next season. 
we'll have this guy coming back, Togu, I guess. He's on loan in two knees right now. He's he's pretty good. He's not he's not great, but he'll certainly be a depth piece for us at striker. Then after that, we'll have um, Daly and Gustav. So we've we've got three strikers that could do a job for us up top. So striker is not something that I'm just like I've got to sign a striker. I think we can get through with what we have there. Left wing, we've got Kawhi and uh, Harriman's can play over there. So it, it would really help. I'm going to go ahead and write some. Because I always forget like transfer specials and I have to go back and watch the videos again. But uh, left wing, I think we need to add some stuff there. Mainly depth. So whether that be a young player that's foreign, a young player that's Belgian, or just a, a veteran depth piece that is, that is Belgian, a Belgian player, obviously that would, that would be nice in that spot. Bicycle going down the road kind of caught me off guard. So at number 10, we do have some players coming in at this spot. We got Harriman's. We've got Harriman. And looking at our future transfer. Player that I'm really excited about in Amin Asal. He's coming in as well. He can play as that role as well. So I feel like we could bring in another depth piece there. So we could play Karim on the right-hand side. So I am actually going to write that down as well. So that can be a, a another young player. I'd prefer it be an older Belgian, but uh, that's what we're looking at there for depth. Right-hand side, we've got uh, Karim. we got Simons. So same situation. I want to bring some depth in on that right-hand side. It's pretty thin for us. Not sure what the reserve team has on it. So I would like to take a look at that. It won't be in this bit. It'll be in another clip. Uh, midfield, I'm midfield. I'm actually happy with. Like we've got a lot of youngsters in our midfield, but but a lot of them I'm really excited about. So we got Rob Schuifs, we got Andy Koshy, we got Boss, we got the guy that's coming in as well. That is um, from uh, the Ivory Coast, I believe. Uh, Gasson. So I, I feel I feel center mid is actually. Okay, it might not hurt to bring one in, but it's not, not a necessity. I'm not going to write it down. Right back, we're really good with Sandy Walsh. We need we need a backup there. Like backup right back is is pretty pretty much a, a key. It seems like a lot of the side we're doing today or in today's transfer window is it's depth. That's that's where we're hurting at. We need players that can come in and help out some of the side when it needs to happen. Center back will need depth because I, I don't like Batu and I don't like Pear. Might, we might have some of these guys on our youngs uh, on our youth team. Some of these positions, you know, what I'm saying like we might have a left wing player that I want to play. I don't know. I, I theoretically would like to sign two of them, though. By the way, on that side, uh, that was just an example. Center back, like I said, we need some depth there. Though left back, uh, I'm, I'm good with Vernerson and Dassey. If I see a player, I'll sign one, but I'm not really interested in buying anybody. Cook, I am. Happy with Cook being our, our number one goal keep. We do have this gentleman as well as our backup. So goal keep, I actually feel pretty good with goal keep. We, we're looking pretty good there. We're, uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll though. Ready to get this transfer special going. Let's get some players signed. Let's get some youngsters in here. See what we can do with the side for next season because we want to build on this strong finish we had this year. Well, we're coming back a little bit sooner than what I had expected us to. And that's that's because some stuff has happened. The, the club has paid a loan for 19 or they're, they're they've got a loan coming in for 19.5 to help out and that, that disappoints me because when i first seen the email i thought it was the board was injecting money and i was like let's go and we've got our total budgets for this season for this off season we got 394 thousand to spend payroll is not looking good we're committed to spending 8.124 this upcoming season so we do have a little bit of money to spend but uh not not a whole lot to spend in terms of transfers which means we're gonna have to do, do some call-ups and i have I've done some look, looky lose and seen. Sorry, I'm, my desk is running out of room, and I'm having to move some stuff. Uh, I've looked up some players that I'm interested in bringing up. Uh, starting off, the first player that will be coming up is a depth piece on the right wing, uh, Gaetan Bozers, right wing option. The only thing I really don't like about him is his determination. It's really going to hinder him, but he can play anywhere as long as it's in the midfield role, packing mid, right hand side, left hand side. He can play anywhere across the. The midfield excited about him at 22 years old he is a two and a half star player four and a half star potential ability 
Up next, another right wing option that we're bringing in that can play anywhere in the attack at two and a half star, five star potential. Alexander, just Alexander. I'm not going to try that last name. Uh, next up that I want to bring up is where is he? I've wrote his name down. His name is Arno. It's not that Arno. I, I see that guy. I see him. It's not him. Arno, where are you? I am totally missing him. Where is he at? Hmm. I am totally missing this guy. Where is he at? I don't feel like I've called him up yet. Wrote his name down. Let's just search for him. Is that going to do anything? It's this guy right here. Arno Van... Arno, we got Arno coming up. He's going to be another player that can play on the right-hand side. He's going to be a backup number 10 mainly for us, though. Two-star two player. I believe he's a four-star potential. I didn't want to click. Yeah, four-star potential player. He'll be coming up as well. So those three guys will help out the attack. I do have I've signed two more players coming in when the transfer windows opens up. It hasn't opened up, unfortunately, yet. But uh, we have found some depth pieces in our reserves or our under-21s. But I'm excited about seeing what they can do. As you know, this is, I think, what we're going to have to do just with the financial trouble that we've had at the club. Some stuff has happened. We've uh, got some awards in. And look, won the Belgian Pro League Golden Glove winner. And we have been named on the short list for Coach of the Year. We had Harriman's was the only player in the league, the league team of the year in the starting 11. I'm sorry, Cook was in there as well. Cook and Harriman's making the starting 11. Uh, Vandenberg, Schuffs, and Ferdy on the bench as well. So we had a pretty successful season, I say, in terms of uh, awards. I think it's I think it's looking good for us. I think the future is bright here. We just got to get we, – we're, it's one of those situations of we're going to have to buy players on a cheap, flip them, and use our reserves, our under-21s. That's, that's what we're going to have to do. And that, on top of the transfer restrictions we're imposing on ourselves, it's definitely – Going to be an interesting time in this save. Well, we have our first batch of signings coming in. First up, a player you guys have not seen Rob Hart, two star potential, five star potential. I mean, two star current ability, five star potential ability. And I, I really like this kid. I mean, he's, he's not ready for first team yet at 15, but uh, very, very close. We purchased him for a whopping 16.75k. We really broke the bank spending on Rob Hart. Really excited about that. That's what we've done a lot of these signings. They're, they're fairly cheap deals. Up next, the player we have seen, Amon Hassaz. Hassal. Amon Hassal, we have seen him before. He's a three-star player. I think before he was a two-and-a-half-star player. Five-star potential ability. Uh, slots in nicely in the midfield. Definitely going to be a backup number 10 for us this next season, I think, behind Harriman's. Uh, got Nagasin. Nagasin. Gassan, Gassan, that was it. I, I looked it up earlier. Uh, two and a half star, four and a half star potential ability. Uh, first signing we done, 18 year old. I really like him. I think he's going to be a good midfield player for us. Definitely slotting into the first team. Uh, maybe not be a starter this year. I don't know. Depends on what we, else we bring in. I do like him a lot then. Uh, up next, Mr. Anderson here, two and a half star, four and a half star potential ability player. Uh, center back option you're playing the defensive mid and center mid he will be a center back option for us at six foot four jumping reach of 18 he can really get up there and get into the ball i i, I think this is a great signing by us too we spent a you know we broke the bank on him 5.5k that's what we're having to do we're having to buy some of these players that um that uh we need now we're, we're having to buy some of them for cheaper i am really excited about these guys though we did sell one player and that would be Mr. Sheldon Batu. We got 250 for him, which I'm really surprised by. His value went down immediately after we sold him to 170K. So um, it does leave a little bit of work we need to do now in the center back option. I am going to go ahead and move Rob to the under 21s. I think he is definitely ready for the under 21 side right now. I haven't actually looked at the team report. Our, our loanies have left. Our loanies have came back. This is what we're left with. I need to call up those guys that we mentioned before. Looking at them, let's see. Um, I went ahead and sorted it the wrong way. I want him on the senior squad. I want him actually on the senior squad as well. We mentioned Bosers. I want him on there. Uh, Quaidliff, I want him on there. Why you no go up? 
Okay, apparently he's just been made ready for this team. I'll sort that out later. Gassan, we want him to come up to the senior squad as well. Is that all of them we wanted? Did I get Arno? Arno? This guy? Wasn't it this guy? Mr. Arno. He's not He's not great, but he does have... I think he can be a player for us. He's already over the age of 21, so I want him to be in the senior squad. Now we can take an actual look at this. So we, we still have some work to do. We still definitely have some work to do. I, like I said, I would... I would like to bring in a striker. I would. It just depends on if we find somebody. I haven't done a ton of research really into seeing if I find anybody I want. Uh, it is a bit more difficult with the transfer restrictions that we have. We got Togu. We got we got Togu. There was that other guy too that I, I don't see his name on here. The the I don't see a lot of our guys. I bet it, I know what it is. I know I know what it is. Firing contracts. Turn that off. Pull it up. Open this up. But we got Togu. We got Gustav. We got Daly. We got three strikers that I'm 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 okay with. I would like to bring in more, but I am okay with those guys. Left hand side, we got Harriman's. We got Kawhi. So we got Kawhi on the left hand side, and we've I haven't addressed it. I haven't addressed the left wing yet. So uh, we do have him, and Harriman's can slot over there as well. But I would I would like to bring in realistically two left wing options. Attacking mid, we got Harriman's. We know that he's a great player for us. He was our key to the team last year. We've got Asal now. I think that can be a good signing for us. And then, was it Arno that I talked about playing as a center uh, attacking mid? Arno as well. So we've got three guys there. Uh, one of them's a little bit shaky, but I think he'll be okay as a, as a third choice in that position. Right wing, we have Mabrate. We got Boziers. We got Mr. Alexander, so I'm okay with our right wing as well. I would obviously I would like to add more talent there, but just with the con the the financial struggles we're having, I don't see that side changing any any the midfield. I think we're good at the midfield. We got Rob Schuffs, we got Asal can play there. We got Koshi, we got Boss, we got Gasan. I'm I'm good with what we got there. I think we're fine in the center mid. We could we could add another player, but I'm, I don't think we're going to left wing. We have Walsh and we have Dossie. I would like to bring in another player at left back just, just to round it out a little bit, but it's not a, a dire need. Center back, uh, we got Vandenberg. We got Max Norman Williams. I'm going to keep Pierre around one more year probably and Mr. Anderson as well. So that gives us four options at center back. Right back, we still we need to bring in another right back. That would that would really help out the squad. And then goalkeeper, we got three of them that I'm pretty good with. We got Cook, we got Tholen, and we got the guy that we brought up, Winston's. So I feel I feel like we're pretty good at uh, most positions. Like I said, uh, the positions that I would like to add depth to is uh, left wing, right back, and I didn't write down left back. Write down left back as well. So maybe we can find some players that we can bring in now. I haven't. I like I said, I haven't done a ton of research into it yet. I was kind of waiting for the transfer special or transfer window to open up to see what we can bring in. I believe I believe that we can find out what we need. Looking financially now, we've got four hundred forty-four thousand to spend. Uh, we're under the payroll budget by three million, so we could bring in a player. We've actually somehow jumped the overall balances went up. I assume that's because of uh, we got paid our TV rights for next year as well. So, so I think we're looking pretty good right now financially. Obviously, we have the loan that we have to pay off, so that's that's not no fun. But it it is it, it be what it be. I got some more work to do, my dudes. I certainly have been a busy, busy fellow right now. Uh, we've signed one, two, three, four players since where we last left off. Up next, or up first, we brought in Les Coy for eighty-seven thousand. Uh, he's a left back option. He's not, he's not great. Let's let's be real. He's not great, but he can he can definitely do a job. Looking at his attributes, he's not. I think he's a little bit better than two and a half stars. I don't think he's much better. He's a well-rounded player. Uh, adds a little bit of a veteran presence to the left back position that we needed with uh, Dacey or Dassey, however you say his name, being there. Up next, we brought in Kalen Nock from Golden Arrows in South Africa. We spent a whopping uh, 59000 on him. He's a two and a half star player, five star potential, can play on the right wing, can play on the left wing, where he will mainly be at as a depth option there. Uh, up next, Reddy Jotty. 
Uh, we brought him in on a free, a Belgian player, three-star player, three-and-a-half-star potential, 26-year-old, uh, kind of like the, the left-back position with Les Coy. We brought him in as a depth piece. He can play there. He can play as a number 10. He can play on the right-hand side as well. Excited about him. Brought him in on a free. And this guy right here, I'm really excited about him. We brought in him in for a club record, 3.2K. We spent the bank on him, my dudes. I mean, we absolutely broke it to bring this guy in. I own... Sibani, Sibon, Sibanu, Sibanu, Banu is what we're going to call him. His name's going to be Banu. Right off the bat, it's, it's getting changed. Uh, there you go. The Romanian two and a half star, five star potential striker. And just look at this, guys. I think he is first team ready right now. I think potentially we could move on from some of our other strikers like Gustav or the uh, guy that we had in on loan last season. Depending on who who's more valued, I think that's what I would probably do. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the striker now. This guy right here, I'm I'm really interested to see how he develops. At 16 years old, I mean, like I said, I just think he's going to be a really good player for us in the future. And I mean, he's only 16. That that right there is is ridiculous. But the squad the squad is rounded out pretty well. We do have some injuries right off the bat though. Uh, Pierre's out for five weeks potentially. Norman Williamson out for three weeks, and Sandy Walsh out. So it might mean that we need to bring in another center back option. I would probably look at like a, a squad player, kind of like Les Coy or uh, the other left wing option that we brought in that I can't think of his name. Starting from the back, goalkeep we've mentioned, we're, we're good with goalkeep. I actually need to go in here and bring up some of these guys. Kalen Notke's injured as well right now. Where are these other guys? Where are they at? I thought I brought in some guys. Wait a minute. Wait one darn tootin' minute. I have one more player. Dang it. It's a free for next year. Oh, man. That sucks. I signed this guy as well. That means I got to sign another right back. I thought I had it figured out. Ibrahim Izzy, Izza. I mean, you guys can take a look at him. We won't see him until next year. Uh, the Ghana International. He looks really good as well. Get him in. And... uh Next year, not not this year, obviously. That 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 really that really sucks. I need to find so now uh get my notepad. Got it right here. Um uh, I need to sign a right back depth piece. Not a youngster, just a depth piece. And then uh what did we say? A center back depth piece because of the injuries. So theoretically we're looking at two more signings. I, I think that would be I'd be happy with two more. I don't, I hadn't, I thought I had it figured out at that point with the right back. I didn't realize he was only 17. I thought he was 18. But the guys that we brought in that are not Belgian born, they should be able to get trained in nation. Excited about that. We do have 184K to spend 167 million in the bank. So that's, that's looking good. I mean, theoretically, we could lower the payroll because I don't see us spending 167 million in, in payroll. We could move some of that over to the transfer budget. I'm just not, not 100% sure. We're, we're getting closer and closer to the season. I will pray, play this um, Pro League Super Cup off screen. That's actually coming up pretty soon. And uh, we haven't, we'll probably come back right here for these two um, third qualifying rounds whenever that draw gets happened. I'm excited for this season, though. I think the team is rounded out really well. We get two more guys in, and uh, I, think, I, think, I think we'll be done, my dudes. Well, the season is upon us, and we've done a couple more things, but we're not going to get right into that right off the bat. We had our draw. I thought about coming back for the draw, but I was like, man, this video has enough cuts as it is already. Don't want to do another one. We're going up against Dynamo Kiev in the third qualifying round. So the plan is we're going to come back with the first match, play that, then we're going to play against Dynamo. Then then I'll play one match off screen, this match right, right here. Come back then with the second leg and standard after that for the second episode of this season. It should be a good time. I'm excited about it. See what we can do against a team that's it's uh, a powerhouse in the Ukraine, ready to see what we can do. I think it's going to be fun for us. It's uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Financially, we're looking good right now. We're put 1.2 and 1.9 1 in the bank. Obviously, we got the loan, but uh, we did get some stuff in that helped out on that transfer budget. We got 288 thousand to spend. We're a little bit less than two million under payroll, which is massive. I hadn't had to do anything with it. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm glad that we was able to do that. I meant to click transfers because we did do a couple things. First off, we sold Gustav. He's gone back to Sweden for 1.1 million. And the reason for that is he had a big contract. He was Swedish. 
He wasn't. He didn't fit our transfer restrictions that we put on ourselves. So he has left the club, but it was mainly due to um, just the money we paid. We was paying him. It's it, it wasn't what I wanted. We brought in a player that can play center back and right back in Morazzo, three star player, three star potential. He looks actually pretty good. He's thirty years old, so he's obviously he's just going to decline after this. And this is uh, this isn't a signing to make money. This is a signing to fill the team out a little bit more than what we have. And then uh, so signed a backup, not a backup, a, a youth prospect goalkeeper, two stars, four star potential on a free. So we we've done that. The team team looks good. I'm I'm really excited about the team. We got Cook and Goal. We got a back four of uh, or we got on right back. We got Walsh. I almost started reading the lineup. We got Walsh. We got Pear. We got Marazzo as well on that side. Then when the new signing comes in next year, the 17-year-old that I'm really excited about, like I think he's going to help us out tremendously. Uh, center back, we look good still. Van Leberg, Max Norman Williamson, Perry can play there. Mr. Anderson and then um, Marazzo can play there as well. So looking good in that position as well. Max Norman Williamson, I'm, I'm so happy we got him. I think he's stood for it. I think, I think this year you're going to see a big jump in him. Uh, left back, we got Sandy Walsh over. Nope, we got Vernerson over there. I'm sorry, we got Dassey and we got Les Coy. Looks pretty good there. Midfield, I'm happy about this. We got Schuffs, we got S. Holly, we got Koshi, we got Boss, and we got Gasson as well. So um, center mid, we might struggle a little bit this year, but uh, for the future, looks good. Looks really bright. Right wing, I know we called up a couple guys from the youth team this year. We may call some of them back down. I'm not 100 percent sure. We'll have to see how it goes. Karen will be the main guy on right wing this year. Uh, Jaadi can play there as well. He'll mainly be a left wing option. Oziers can play on right wing. Alexander can play there. I probably will push Lauren Simons back down to the 20, under 21s and Arno as well. I think that's just the way we go with those two guys. Uh, attacking mid, Harriman's obviously. Harriman's is going to be the mainstay there. This Holly's going to be his backup on most days. And then kind of just rotating who who can be that third option for us if we need it. And, and we do have Arno if we want to call him up. Because I do plan on dropping him back to the under-21s now that I've filled out the team a little bit more. Left wing, we got Kawhi. We got Jotty. We got uh, not the signing from South Africa. Looks good. Looks really good. And then up top, we got Togu. Excited to see how he actually does. I think he's going to be a pretty good player for us. I know he's only three-star, but um, I think he can serve a job for us. Banu is the man I'm excited about. Banu, really excited about getting him into the team and Daly as well. Those three guys up top, it looks like we're we're set on the team. I'm I'm really excited about it. Um, but like I said, I think Banu is going to be. I think I mean just, just a, I think he's going to be the future. I think he really is. I think he's going to. I think he's going to develop into a really good player. He's got. He's already a first team player at the age of 16. That was uh, an amazing deal for us. I'm I'm super excited about it. I think overall, though, the player I'm most excited about, this is funny, because he's not by far the best player that we've signed this <clears throat> this round, but it's because we've waited on him so far, is Gasson. I'm ready to see how he actually performs. We we waited, we had to wait a year to get him in. He's here now. Excited about it. I think he's gonna be a good player for us. But I think low key, one player that's that you're going to remember from this group is Rob Hart. I know he's on the under-21s right now, but I really think this guy's going to be the future of our center mid. I think he's just I think he's got all the ability to be a good center mid for us. His passing's got to work. We've got to work on his passing a little bit. He's more of the ball-winning midfield type of player. He's more of a defensive guy, but um really excited about him coming in. And then then obviously I'm like I said, I'm I'm really excited about Bono. I think Bono's going to be a stud for us. He'll be our number two on most days behind Togu. I just, I'm really happy with this team. Like, I'm really, really happy with it. It's a it's a big squad. I know that. I understand that. But like I said, we're probably going to drop some of these guys down. And I may go ahead and do that. Move you to the under-21s. And then, uh, name. what was the guy's name that I said? I've always, I miss this guy every time. Arno. Drop him down to the under-21s. I know he's over 21, but. I'm I'm really excited about it. We are a little bit injury bugged right now. Got some guys that just came back. Pierre's the only one that's really still hurt. He's out five to eleven days now. Sandy Walsh just coming back from one. Max Norman Williamson just coming back from one as well. So that's that's interesting to see how that's still going to develop. Looking at where the league think where we're going to the media thinks we're going to finish in the league. It says here eight. Last year, you know, said that as well. But when we went into the league, it said we was finishing bottom of the table. So I am a little bit 
Okay, so it does have a sitting at eight still. And I think I think we're ready for the start of the season, my dudes. And I am oh so excited. I gotta pick out the first team, get ready for it, and uh um, it'll be in the next episode. Our first transfer window down in the books, and I think going forward, you'll see a lot of signings like this where we sign uh under 19 year olds, 18 and under, those guys uh from foreign countries get those guys into the club and hopefully turn them for a profit. Maybe sign. Hopefully we'll be able to sign some more Belgian wonder kids as we, as we're able to make some more money. That's, that's just the issue. We weren't able to do that much with what we had financially, but if you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Let me know who you think the best signing we had was. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.